Okay, guys, I am wanting, I'm going to put a link to my old video about money snapping and income taxes. <coughs> I made about three or four years ago. When y'all go get y'all taxes done, and that ain't y'all husband and y'all filing, y'all not filing a joint return, don't take that nigga with you to go file your taxes. Because, you know, as soon as they say, well, here's your return, they get up looking at the screen. Baby, we got $10,000. The reason that you get this money back is called earned income credit. You know, because you have, you know, dependents and your ass ain't got no money. So, if you get like 10 stacks of shit back, leave your boyfriend at home. You don't have to take him with you to file taxes. He didn't go with your ass to the OBGYN. He didn't go with your ass to the dentist. He ain't went up to the kids' school because they fucking up. He that you gotta have your own motherfucking business. This motherfucker blowing kisses at me, nigga. You is walking in the snow. It's cold on the outside looking in, brr ass nigga. Quit blowing me kisses, nigga. Get where you going for you get pneumonia. Shit. Yeah, these motherfuckers is killing me. One of my family members had a post dated check in his wallet yesterday. Some girl done wrote him from the 21st when her taxes come back. $1,200. How bitch got $1,200 to give your motherfucking ass? I wish a motherfucker. The most I ever gave to a homeless person, like on the street, was $20. That's the most I can give your ass with me and you not falling out. And I know y'all read my post about me getting ganked out $100 on Facebook. Did y'all read that? Baby, and I say, baby, be careful with this income taxes and your boyfriends and your baby daddies. And just because a man give you a baby don't mean you owe him no earned income credit. Because somebody told me that's the least she could do is give me a grand. I gave her the baby. But I think she take care of the motherfucker and you don't. You know, y'all can do what y'all want to do. But I'm just telling y'all, y'all cannot be out here trying to rent a dick. He, he, as soon as your tax is gone, he gonna be gone. Y'all ain't gonna have no money to buy him no TV for Super Bowl because the taxes ain't coming back to the 21st. And if you did some school situations, the shit ain't coming back to March. You know, save your money. And take your kids to Disney. Take them on a summer vacation. Take them on a shopping spree. Even if you gotta do some catch-up, take them to the zoo. Take them somewhere. Because when you have two and three kids and you get $89,000 back, I understand the excitement and you want a new living room set. Put them up an IRA or do something for them. You getting that money because of them. Y'all cannot be out here buying the new J's and shit for these motherfucking niggas. And since the check coming back late, y'all writing post-dated checks. And you get the visa card. And when, the, when you file your taxes, they're telling you wanted to come back on the visa. And text the phone when the check, when the money on the card. Y'all giving his number so when the phone go off, he get the text before you get the text. You know what? I'm I'm a I, I just done got real frustrated and, and some shit I just should not even know that's happening in the world because I'm affected so much differently. You know, people are telling me, you know, don't give me my paperwork because he gonna know how much I'm getting back. I'm I'm old, you know, I'm I'm about four decades deep almost in this bitch. I, I ain't nobody ever know how much I got back in income tax because I worked for it and it was my income tax and I never filed a joint return because I ain't never been married. So that mean that ain't nobody's business but mine. <clears throat> and for you women who are getting all this earned income credit, y'all ass ain't married neither. And y'all got the same name on your birth certificate. If you die today, it's going to be on your death certificate. That should let you know right there that you don't owe nobody no motherfucking explanation what you do with your fucking income taxes. Your bitches are... It's, man... And then, too, the goddamn lesbians, they doing the same shit, too. Bringing their motherfucking bitches in. And they just... Babe, how much we get? I'm like, this shit here is in reverse. I don't understand. You know, it ain't tricking if you got it, but you really don't got it. Because if you getting all that money, you don't make no money through the year. You know what I'm saying? So, you have to know that in order to get all this money, you need to be catching come up. And playing come up and catch up and do shit for your babies and put some away for their college and prom and shit. Because by the time they get ready for prom and shit, you done tricked off all that money. You ain't gonna have no money for graduation, prom, none of that shit, because you done fucked up the income tax. See if y'all can get an IRA and, and, and so you can save some of that money. Do something. I just feel so... I feel helpless. And even when I did debt consolidation and stuff like that, and, you know, I really help people with credit and that kind of shit, 
you know, it, it was fulfilling because I feel like I was helping somebody. Another thing I want y'all to do for y'all who don't have life insurance, go pray, pay your premium up for at least a year. You know what I'm saying? And that way you don't have to worry about it. And do that in every income tax year. And if you got a dude, you know, your old man or your baby daddy and y'all ain't married. And if he worked and gonna get Social Security, his mom ain't gonna give you shit. At least get your own goddamn life insurance policy. And if he happened to die, you and your babies will be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, we got to start for real thinking ahead. You know what I'm saying? And, and as a people, we be bullshitting. You know, you sitting up here thinking, I can't afford life insurance. You can afford life insurance because you can't afford not to have it because you ain't going to have no money. I want my kids to go to college. If I die to deal tomorrow, I want my son to have a brand new car at graduation. License plates. Mom did it. You know what I'm saying? I already know how this going to go. And I be thinking about how, you know, people die with no insurance, no Social Security, no benefits. When we get these taxes, pay his policy. Get this nigga a policy. Pay his shit up and make yourself the beneficiary. You paying for it. Like Elliot Davis, goddamn me, you paying for it. Get you a policy. You know what I'm saying? How many minutes I got left? And then, you know, pay for the shit. Pay for the shit where everybody is taken care of. Fuck the new joints. Pay your premium up. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I was selling life insurance, you know, I could get you, it depend on the age and if you smoke cigarettes and shit, but shit, 50, $50 a month. And I was shit, I had so... And that was for your children, you know, 15000 for your kids. Because I ain't trying to get rich if my kids die. I just want to be able to take off a couple of days and send them on in nice. You know what I'm saying? And maybe take a trip if I need to. You know, nothing major. But if I die, I want that college to be, you know, pretty much squared away. I want them to have a new car at graduation just because I'm not going to be physically here. You know, and that's things that people ain't really telling y'all or talking about. You know, for real, look for some investment property. Get with some girls and try to maybe put it down on a four-family flat. Do something. The reason that they give poor people earning credit because they know we ain't going to do nothing but put it back into the economy. If people are getting, if you get 10, your girl get 10, your other girl get 10, somebody else, your sister get 10, and your auntie get 10, you bitches got $50,000. You know what I'm saying? Like, buy a business, buy a building, buy something. Besides the Xbox, the TV, some tennis shoes, and the Michael Kors person don't have 15 cent in the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Stop money snapping. Rent a dicks is not going to last. You cannot be fucking buying these rent a dicks. Because they ain't going to stay after the money goes. So if your money come in February, St. Patrick's Day or Easter, you back out here. Solo bolo looking for another rent to dick, dick to rent. For, for next year, fuck that shit. Invest your money. Because a real nigga ain't going to be for real begging for your money any motherfucking way. Now, if you go out and want to buy my outfit or buy some shoes or shirt, that's your do. You know, do what you do. But don't neglect your kids. Don't not take care of your business. Don't go making promises to keep a nigga around. Now, if the nigga looked out for you during the year and you want to for real do something nice, yeah. But changing money just don't sound right to me. I just can't imagine, I just, the whole concept of handing money off to folks, it does something to me. Now, if I want to go buy a shirt or pants or something, I see, okay, fine. But you better know that my business is taken care of. People say they can't afford private school. Yes, you can. Get a scholarship, get your income taxes, pay the shit up for the year. You know what? I'll be going on and on and on and on and on. So let me fucking go on and go. But I'm just saying, do something for you and your babies. Go get a, a motherfucking season pass for them to go to the Cardinals game. Go and get a, a $100 worth of, of video. No, what you call it? Wernberg card. So where they can go to the movies. Or go go out to take them out to eat or take them on the trip. You could go get on the mega bus for $30. Go to Chicago. Just do something besides trick off your money for, because these niggas been sucking out your ass until you got your W-2s and then they gonna spend your money and then they gonna go sucking off somebody else's ass. Sucking out the ass. That's real nasty. Okay, I gotta go because I'm just saying anything and it's nasty and I'm getting mad so I gotta go. Talk to y'all later. Bye.